Hello, friend, and welcome back to another session of Cult of the Lamp. Starting out once again with checking in on my villagers. Like this sleepy old dude. Ah, just go back to sleep. Not like someone of his age would still get any work done. So why is this not assigned? Perfect. So I can get level up before I go into the dungeon again. Stronger weapons. Perfect. Oh, it's almost at the highest level for weapons. That's nice. And then another crown ability. Should be the last one as well. So I mix this one out. Um, all cult members will gain the sacral architecture trait. When a new building is constructed, they gain faith. Or a uh, devotee trait, gain more faith when delivering a sermon. Ah, let's go with this one. And I got an achievement for that. Yay! Oh, I haven't married someone in a long time. Who should I pick? Oh, they are all so old. Hmm. Ah, oh, they look like they have a long life ahead. That doesn't sound that good. Better health drops, that sounds better. More explosion damage. Well, I need actual explosions to make any use of that. I should project that an enemy every few seconds. Oh, I read the wrong thing. Flies away and returns with red hearts. Targets random enemies. But they're level 3. I don't want to sacrifice them. But also, they're gonna die of old age soon enough. Is no one working? Oh, they're building stuff. Bum, 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 bum. I 
I can give them a gift. Loyalty. Loyalty with more movement speed. Harvest bonus resources. I got a lot of gold right now, so I can just buy any follower I see. I'm just quickly gonna indoctrinate them so that they can get to work. Total, extra total. I never recall what that thing is called. Um, gain faith, less devotion. Okay, then I'm gonna put them to work. for the weapons now. And this is a devastating melee attack that will also summon ghosts from slain enemies. Okay, sounds cool. Oh, wow. this come one come all to a place a palace of wonder and delight well that's also a place where all that glimmers is gold guaranteed we does this cave open seven days ah so there was indeed another area to discover ah oh, that guy again I am not what I once was, though no longer wise. I am no fool. I know the end draws near. I can take some comfort in confession. The blame hangs heavy around my neck. I introduced him to ideas of change, for my domain is knowledge and it is ever evolving. An organic state of being for myself, but for him most unnatural. Death cannot flow backward. It was I who had him chained, forced into subjugation by the four of us. Subjugation as you too soon shall be. Uh, subjugated. Make peace, bow to me, lamb. Nope. A lion in the guise of a lamb. I expected no less from a vessel of the red crown. Very well, war is also my domain. Okay, I survived. 
I already forgot again what my summon is doing. Uh, can I see it here somewhere? Nope. Oh, whatever. Somehow helping me. Yeah, for a second there, there was so much going on that I couldn't really tell what's good and what's bad. Oh, another ring. Uh, so I'm gonna go back. I wanna find my carrot dude. Carrot dude? Carrot? I don't want carrots. They can hit me with their scythe when I'm behind them. Wait, what? Ah. Here he is. Fish, or immune to poison? Oh, well, I don't think either is super useful. If I recall correctly, I dropped the heart here. Yes. Let's move on. At least I can use the fish if they drop for one of my quests, because there's still that fisherman. One some. Okay, follower. Yeah, I'm gonna go for the follower. Shamura, for your wisdom, we make this offering. Know of all, if you, in you, we seek the answer. Let's call it rescue. My health back. Oh, 
Oh. Projectile that has a chance to possess enemies or tentacles. Actually, I think I like the one I have currently better. Yeah. I like my current one better. Such a great start, but now I'm running a bit short on health. Um, X to summon. Hammer. Doesn't matter. And invincibility. Well, you all know invincibility is OP. Oh, health. Nice. And then it's already time for the final stage. Oh, my invincibility ran out. Oh, I failed it first. Oh yeah, to revive the dude, that's not... that's... who's not dead yet. That quest was kinda awkward. Oh, I found a fish. Not a hammer. Yeah, I don't find either. I'm gonna go back to my hands here and recycle. Projectile, projectile, and the next. Oh. Yeah, let's take this one. Because now if I collect further, it will increase my divine devotion. That's always a nice combination. Especially since a lot of bosses are even. Oh! Good that I took the invincibility. I mean to poison. But that's not the most useful. Well, at least I got a uh, silk wall. 
well. I wouldn't call that worth it. Especially as I lost some HP again. Yeah, so, I think I now had the dude who offered me a different weapon price instead of some useful tarot card. And the one tarot card I found is giving me fish. So in that sense, it was a really bad run. divine fervor left. Okay, that was pretty close, but I made it. Gotta collect all my divine fervor. Gold follower form. I'm gonna take the gold because I need to convert that to the gold bricks and that's gonna get expensive. That was stage two. So yeah, with really bad luck with the tarot cards, I still managed to somehow do it with the usual invincibility tactic. Though last time I think I had the tarot card to get more further back. But well. I need more of these gold bricks. Why are you descending? Go to prison. What do they have for me? Some creatures are here seeking shelter. They are sick. Yeah, sure. Oh boy, so many resources. You sleep. Oh boy, oh boy. Yay! He did it. Now they're tired. Go and sleep. Then... Ah, oh, let's send them out for some meat. Uh, yeah, let's upgrade that run to level 3. Oh, wait. I got it. No, never mind. The farm is already upgraded. Boon decorations. followers. What can they do? Well, nothing. And I paid money for that. That's it. Yeah, I don't know. Refined materials. Sure. And what can you do? Nothing? You mean you lose his faith. Oh, great. somewhere. You. Spare me. Gain faith in falling ill, well. And heal slower, well. Okay. Uh, bed 
interest. Chalamba. And then easier to level up. Ignores the centers. That's pretty good. <laughs> Oh boy, oh boy. I think I need more bits. So much to do. Two more days. If not too many people die. Um. Oh, let's do the Halloween ritual again. Just for the music. Sick. Where are they going? Wait. I mean, they look sick, but they're not shown as sick. Oh, this is so odd. I 
actually didn't want to tell them to go back to work. I just want to see what they have to tell me. Yay, level up. And then... Let's give them a gift. Another gift. I wanna do. No, I think I'm good for now. Okay. All right. New area I discovered. Let's take a look. Welcome, welcome. Look, everyone, we have a visitor. Oh, stop laughing. Our guest may not like much, but fortune favors the gold. I mean the bold. <laughs> My dear new friend, Midas' Cave serves a certain class of clientele. If you can meet those standards, welcome. If not, please, look around. You are my guest here. I will leave you to pursue. Peruse. Oops. Should you have any questions, Midas is here to help. Uh, Ica, when killed, resurrect with heart, or that enemy bodies explode, damaging other enemies. Okay. It's actually pretty cool. Sacrifice the follower. That sounds like I can sacrifice them for gold. Ah, I got a lot of gold. Hmm. I can buy a follower form. What's this? Now, I'm sure great leaders such as yourself get plenty of devotion from your followers for free. But surely a visionary like you could always use more. We can offer you our devotion for a great price. Price goes up the more you want it, and down the longer you leave it. The question really is how long can you resist? Well, I guess. I'm just gonna take it because I'm probably not gonna visit them for a while. Then let's also check back in on the smuggler. Uh. Oh, let's get that one as well. Okay. I'm sacrificing a follower per run. Might not be a bad idea. Okay, multiple projectiles and uh, crap, a hammer. This has a nice perk, but oh boy. We all know how it goes if I use this weapon. Pretty sure this time around. Oh, pile of dung. This time around, I'm not gonna find a vendor for a different weapon. Last time I had so many. <laughs> Have you thought of what awaits you once your task is completed? What is to become of you? The lamp is, after all, the sacrificial beast, bred to slaughter. 
If I cannot stop you, then I can at least prepare you for the suffering to come. He was the fifth, the fifth bishop of the old faith, our brother, the one who waits. Back then, he was known by the name of Narinda. Ida, I'm sorry. Uh... All right. Yeah, this is not going well, having to slaughter my own followers. Oh yeah, found terror dude. Gaining a blue heart when killing an enemy or rolling will damage them. I'd rather have the upgraded heart. Then let's see what we got to the right. Followers. Oh, who this? Shami, what are you looking at? Hmm, that's right. You crown bearers are all the same. Nothing without your adoring followers. Atar wasn't like that. He stayed true to who he was. You'll never live up to him. Get out of my way, I've got knuckle bones to play and money to win. Come and play me if you want a real challenge. Oh, I will. And then down the silk... Oh, I always say silk cradle, but that's the region we're in. That's why it says the same thing every time. This was more like a skull pillar. Question mark. I think that was the mini bosses. We could go for some food. Uh, I'm gonna go this route for food and followers. Beetroot. Oh, I don't think I found that one before. So at least it's something new. Then. Oh, yeah. There's no benefit to enemies. Well, maybe. I could have maybe found a different weapon, so... Uh, should have taken that path after all. Oh, well. here. Come on, stop moving. Almost back out. Phew. Okay. 
Okay. At least I got a lot of HP left. And I got a lot of gold nuggets. I hate this weapon. Divine inspiration unlocked. Wait, didn't it say that before already? Oh well. Moving. Oh boy. He's a different weapon. Another hammer. Are you kidding me? And invincibility. Yeah, as usual I'm gonna take that. Especially I can use the invincibility and then charge the hammer, but I might only get like two attacks out of it. Uh, not sure that's the best uh, combo. Oh, projectile, divine blast, or an actual weapon. Chance to heal the wheel. I mean, it's not even about the chance to heal, but yeah. Uh, uh, fires of the forge, blah, okay. Oh yeah, by the way, for the last level, if it's like this solid floor that goes on. It's right before the boss fight, I assume. <laughs> I used up all my fervor. Damn it. Nice thing about the invincibility skill is that it also reflects projectiles, which is really useful against this one. I did it. So I got two more followers, I think. Beetroot. Beetroot seeds. Heh. So I got the choice between 12 beetroot seeds or 13. Or just beetroot up straight. Yeah, I'm gonna take that one. No. So I killed two of my followers, I got two back.
I have to say, they balance the game nicely in that way, that it's always like 10 or 11 minutes for me to complete a run if I don't die early. So they manage it pretty nicely. Okay. Oh, let's upgrade the missionary. Fortune offering. Thank you. Oh, no. Sleep. And you re educate. I need more beds. Still. Ooh, might be a bit tight to get level up soon. Which will, how about the feast? That way they're happy and they got food. I'm in love, but Fiandre doesn't know I exist. Would you gather 10 flowers for me from Darkwood so that I might woo them? Oh, maybe. Okay. 
and as final action of the day, I will go for a round of knuckle bones. Oh, also, maybe save at some point. There they are. Hmm, it's you, finally decide to join the big leagues. Risk and reward and luck. Yep, not gonna destroy the one. <sighs> oh, didn't want to put it there. Okay, this one will go poorly. Oh, very poorly. Unless I roll some real good ones. <laughs> ones, ha. Huh. See what I did there. able to win this if they don't destroy my sixes and I maybe get another one. Oh nice. Uh, let's try the five. No six, no six. Oh! They put it in a different lane. Well, that was not very skilled of them. I mean, if they had put them in the lane to the right, uh, they would have destroyed my sixes and I might have lost, but as I've said, the harder enemies have more luck and not more skill, apparently. You got lucky. No, I did not. You just played poorly. Take this. Now, rematch. Why are you a coward? Oh, I'm good. Further, we'll slowly replenish over time. Oh, that's actually really cool. I'd love to be able to pick which cards I get. Okay, let's go back home. And with this, I think this is it for today. So, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, as usual. And, yeah, see you in the next one.